everyone, it's Jared here, and today I'm going to talk about something very, very cool, and it's called the Pot of Flafla. If you've never heard of the Pot of Flafla, um, that's too bad because it's very, very cool, like I said. Um, basically, it's just one of the rudiments, and people normally overlook it because it has a really stupid name, but honestly, it's an awesome rudiment, and if you just learn it and spend some time with it, you're going to see huge improvements within your plane. So let's first go over the basic rudiment, okay? So we start with a right hand flam. Okay, so right hand up high, left hand down low, and let's see how that sounds. Then we have a left stroke after that. Then we have a right stroke. And then we have a left hand flam. Okay, so that is the rudiment. It's based off of 16th notes primarily, um, so you can count at 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a if you like. Um, but the hard part is actually turning it around because it ends with a left hand flam and then starts again with a right hand flam. So you kind of get this, you know, especially when you speed it up, you kind of get this offset triple stroke roll kind of thing. And you'll see some of that later on the, the ride cymbal and how we're actually integrating it within 16th note triplets and stuff like that. But first step, you guys, is just learn the rudiment. So let's play that ultra slow on the snare drum. Okay, so it's pretty challenging, and to be honest, this is something I'm continually working on. And so these exercises are kind of like ground level of where I would start with something like this, and hopefully in the future, once I've continued to progress more and more, I can show you guys some even more advanced stuff. But um, that is the starting point for you, is just on the snare drum, simple like that. Now you notice, when I get really fast, you know, especially on exercise five, you guys are going to see soon, we're doing 16 note triplets between the, the ride and the snare drum it's hard to hear those flams. And I can't tell you for certainty that some of those aren't completely unison, just because of the speed and how I'm still working on it. And so um, just always really focus on that when you're practicing it slow, okay? So make sure you have a flam each time. And you'll hear that, especially when you go between the floor tom and the snare drum, right? You'll go right hand flam, left, right, left hand flam, right hand flam, left, right, left hand flam. And so you'll be able to hear that separation there, especially at the slower tempos. Once you really start to speed this up, it sounds a little bit different. So I'll just show you guys how it sounds going from slow to fast on the floor tom of the snare. All right, so that is the pad of flafla. Now the following five exercises, I'm gonna play at two separate tempos, okay? We're gonna start at 70, and then I'm gonna move them to 100. And this is using Drumio's Smart Beat technology so you guys can see exactly where everything lines up. But I'd really encourage you to just download the sheet music, take it to your kit, and choose one of them, okay? You know, try and find one that's at your skill level. So if you're, if you're a beginner, then start with number one or number two. And if you're more of an advanced player, then, you know, go ahead and try number five. Um, that one challenged me like crazy, okay? Um, and I know that you guys are going to love that, especially for you advanced guys out there. So check out the exercises, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
So one thing I want to ask you guys is what is your confidence rudiment? What rudiment can you play with your eyes closed, your hands tied behind your back, and you can play with your big toe and your pinky toe? What is the rudiment that is so easy you can literally play it in your sleep? Leave that in the comment section below. I'll be in there. I read every single one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.